Uh, Kanye did his first campaign rally in South Carolina. Mm-hmm. I know. I hit the group chat and said, hey, you guys, are y'all seeing this dude? <laughs> yeah, you did. Dude, and I wouldn't have seen it had it not been for Joe. So let me thank Joe for that. Because this was That great. was important shit. And yeah. I figured that it was kind of under the radar this a little was, bit. It was. This was great. This was great to watch. And I didn't plan. I didn't have plans on checking this. I didn't even know I this was I didn't know about it. Was yeah. it announced? I didn't know this was happening. It was announced that he was doing his rally in Charleston, South Carolina. That, that part was announced. Okay. But I mean, and they said it was his first, you know, presidential rally, and I don't know how to, I don't know how to take that. I don't either. That's why I didn't watch so, it. I watched the snippets because I don't really know how to feel about it. Like I don't know if watching it is supporting it or what. No, uh, well, we, let, we can uh, stop that narrative to some degree. Watching something does not mean you support it. You're informing yourself on what can, the fuck is going on in your country. Sure. Like, I watch porn. I don't support it, Which though. is some form I, of support. I support <laughs> porn. But go ahead. We stepped on you, Roar. You were actually um, doing a great job explaining what, what so we So, for example, witnessed. I do not support Fox News at all. Mm-hmm. I do watch Fox News because I need to know how a large part of the country thinks about issues that affect the world. Fair. So, you're a, yeah. You're a Fox Newser. <laughs> <laughs> you really fuck with don't Tucker? Tell, don't tell anyone more. <laughs> you're on the right. <laughs> <laughs> you're on the right. <laughs> Oh, I fucking hate directions. Um, so yeah, I still think this is a important thing that people need to watch. Whether you think it was hilarious or unimportant, it is still a campaign rally for a huge figure in our country that will affect, to some small degree, our election because of his affiliation with one of the other presidential candidates. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, I, I need to see what the fuck was going on. <laughs> I just, I just watched it because we've never had uh, somebody from our culture do this. This was like, we've never had a rapper have a rally. I love more explanations. Yeah, like we've never had it. Let's just, let's just say what it is. We've never had a rapper announce he's running for president and then have a rally about it. Like, we've, ne- we've never had that. This is something we've never seen. I was happy that Joe put it in the chat. I watched it. Uh, No, I believe in the... Proz ODB Maya superstar video. I believe ODB was running for president and he was doing a campaign. He would have oh, been a great and person. Master P tried out for the Hornets. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, and and, and, and got buckets. See? And he got buckets. Come on, give it up. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's why I watched this, just to just to see what Kanye was talking about and what he was doing. And as soon as I clicked on it and I saw the the uh the bomb proof security vest. I knew we were in for a treat. You don't understand fashion more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I knew we were in for a treat. Now listen, it. not only the security vest, I'm glad you highlighted that, but and, and listen, I am no expert in how a presidential rally should look. <laughs> but but when I clicked on this, <laughs> yeah. this didn't look like fucking no. Def Jam put it together. Yeah, he didn't you have think okay. it should be SOBs. He didn't no, have a I, microphone. Yeah, what? no, I, it shouldn't be at SOBs. He should have called Tiana to fucking decorate this shit. Yeah. Like it looks like a label put this shit together. But cool. No, I but actually, cool. first thing I somewhere. noticed, right. he was not mic'd. The camera was literally in the crowd, like, mm-hmm. hiding. Yeah. <laughs> there is scared security around him. Terrified were, were of every word security? that he said. Were they security? Look at his face. I thought he was a face actor. <laughs> <laughs> no, he looks like the guy that just opens the gymnasium. <laughs> That's what that was. He just opened the gym and let Kanye asking, do his thing. Security was clinging, yeah. clinging to Kanye's every word. Yes. Kanye didn't need security for this. The people love him. We weren't going to do anything now. He needs security. That's why he wore his bomb vest. All right, come on. Give me your thoughts on this because we do have a lot to unpack and uh, I don't want to spend a million years I was a little confused. He had, the, he had the, uh, Wesley Snipes Demolition Man haircut. But uh, not just your thoughts on this but some of the, some of the takes from it. Like what was said. And there was a man, lot said. Uh, okay, yeah. The first, he said, the he first said one that ran out was the Harriet Tubman quote. Yeah. Well, no. He started out running out crying if I'm not mistaken. About the abortion part. That, yeah. was the, that was in the beginning. That's when I text y'all. Yeah. Okay. When he started crying on the stage and going in about the abortion and he was uh, almost aborted and whoever mm-hmm. was almost aborted, I don't even want to repeat it because to me it's distasteful. Mm-hmm. Um, that's when I hit y'all like, yo, I don't, I'm not sure what we're witnessing right now. That part was disturbing to me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, obviously Kanye... He, he's in a place where emotionally he's going through things. He's still healing from some things. And um, I think this was, you know, was this is another one of his uh, his moments that he has that he shows us that he does need some type of help. Honestly. This and, is the guy you told me you would vote for. Yeah. He needs help. I mean, he needs help. You know what I mean? And that's just, 
you know, we love Kanye. We 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 watched him turn into the guy that he is, have the career that he's had, the amazing legacy that he has. But you know, this it, it's enough is enough. Like we understand what this is, and it's cool to make memes and laugh and all of this. But at the end of the day, this is a human. We talking about humanizing people. He's a human. And if he was a friend of mine, a close friend of mine, I would definitely be concerned and definitely be trying to get him some help. That's or, just or not. Or not trying to get him help? If a friend, if a close friend of mine is doing this and having these moments, and you have to that's try what to get I'm him saying. I'm, I'm with you on uh, the humanizing thing here. Mm-hmm. That, that's what I'm here to do today. Mm-hmm. I also don't think it's funny, no matter kind of how you slice it. Oh, and no, I we am, laughed at it. I'm definitely empathetic. But I still don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel about it. You don't know how to feel because it, with, with Kanye, it always feels like performance. It's an ulterior motive. Yeah, it's theatrics. It's a, a album coming Friday. Well, I, I saw that divide on Twitter yesterday about now I'm over this using mental health to sell shit. Right. He does this every it, 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 time. Gets, it gets to that point. Uh, but why can't two things be true? They can. Why can't this gentleman really need help? Has been crying out for help. He has does. Been showing us for years that he needs help. And he also wants to sell things. <laughs> but you uh, you know what else, too, though, we got to start thinking about? Because you have to want help. Because I'm sure Kanye has people in his life that have offered help and tried to get him some help. I'm sure. But he has to want that. Well, that's a tough thing to ask someone that is maybe in a mental state that they can't make correct decisions. Oh, he can make correct decisions. Can I jump in? Yeah, sure. sure. I'm with you guys on the humanization of things, of people, and a lot of things can be true at one time. And that's just my overall stance on the Kanye thing. Mm. Um, I'm not here to judge him. I'm Mm. not here to antagonize, provoke him, attack him. I understand. Or or I understand that I don't. Right. I understand that I don't. A lot of things can be true. It's not just two things. Right. Because we're talking about a very complex man. Mm Mm-hmm. And a very a genius brain too. Like let's not get it twisted. He he has a genius. I know and be- level thinking and, for sure. And, no question. And, and because I believe him to be a genius, I know the things that could plague your mind right. as one. Right. That's one of the buckets that I'm here to acknowledge. Mm-hmm. That Kanye's brain, I believe, does work in a different capacity. Absolutely. And I think some of that plagues him. Mm-hmm. Um. I also think that. He's performance art. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I think we've seen a pattern now where we can say definitively that every time Kanye has some shit to sell, sneakers and albums, he comes out with these episodes. I'm an artist, so I slice that pie a little different. Mm-hmm. When we're coming out with something, that's when you kind of have to see us. Right. No, yeah. no matter the state we're in. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm not on the side of oh, he is exploiting his own mental health to sell things. I think that his mental health should be in question Mm -hmm. and he has to sell things. And not to mention that the the act of having to sell things, having to go out and do interviews, having to make make noise can drive you a little bit crazy even if you are in sound mental health. But that's what I... I want to jump jump right in with Parks. We're in a groove here. Also... You can speak to, and maybe Rory today can speak to. When you're closer to album release or the release of you having to sell something, it can be a bit of pandemonium for you mentally. Absolutely. Like, no, 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 no. It no. doesn't Shit, necessarily mean that you are no. in the greatest space. No, no. we can't. That's when it can all pile on. That doesn't apply for Kanye. I think it does. I'm Kanye, not- Kanye can drop whatever, whenever, without having to do an interview, without having to make an appearance anywhere. He can put out an album and it's going to sell. It's going to stream. He can put out a sneaker. It's going to sell. He can put out clothes. It's going to sell. He can do anything he wants. He has worked himself into a space where his name, his brand, is going to sell itself. He does not have to make a public appearance anywhere. He doesn't have to make a public. He wants to do this. That's not how performers feel, though. But that's what I'm saying. He wants to do this. Not because the album is coming. He doesn't need to sell an album. No doubt. He can drop a link tomorrow and that album is going to sell. But when you're what you saying? Let me let me Sorry. talk to Maul. Maul, what you saying is what we would like our good brother to recognize. Mm-hmm. So there's no right. argument. No, but I'm saying y'all saying that y'all can imagine his head But he, that doesn't I apply do, to but an I artist do not, like that. But I do not believe. Well, no, because you're it right. Does. That should be the result, but it's not the reality because that's not how he feels, right? Mm-hmm. And that's not how he moves. And when he dropped that bomb about, he'll drop that bomb. 
Uh, <laughs> but when he said, yo, my dad. Like Saddam. My dad uh. didn't want me. Like when he said that, for me, it was like all the pieces of the puzzle magically came together. And I kind of understood some of the narcissism even. Like every step of the way for him, he hasn't been wanted. So the ego is, is and the machismo is it's an illusion. It's it's false. And there's a delicate, sensitive man underneath all there. Yeah. And what we are trying to acknowledge is your fam. You don't need none of the shenanigans to At drop all. stuff because you have proven your genius. Right. Yeah. We are we are with you. Mm-hmm. I agree. With but that, in the mind of that person, Ma, I don't think it's like that. No, I agree. Uh, I agree with you. As an entertainer and- or performer, you're used to Seeking attention and performing for people, however and, it comes across. Like, and for the last two albums, Kanye's focus has not been music. He's used his fame as a rapper as a vehicle to push his other agendas. Right. If you listen to Ye, Ye Kanye has been a perfectionist to some degree musically in everything that he's done, and we've seen it. He's talked about it. Not to we've, some degree. That's we've, a definite. We've, we've watched how serious he takes his craft in music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This isn't an opinion. This is a fact. Ye did not have any perfection from Kanye West, that album. Mm -hmm. Jesus is King was better, but I know the detail when Kanye West is focused on music. Definitely. So while everyone's saying he's doing this to sell an album, no, I just think that's kind of part of this plan. Let me throw some music in here Mm. to get the people that only care about my music to pay attention to what I'm doing now, which is a person like me. Mm. I care about Kanye's music, so... I'm going to pay attention more now because I know music is coming. But his agenda has been on sneakers. It's been on building domes in the desert. It's been on this, this political shit that he keeps saying he wants nothing to do with and then continues with it. It's on other shit. So, no, I, he's not just trying to sell an album. These last two albums have proved that. And let me add, uh, more, yes, Kanye is Kanye. So he don't have the typical problems we envision someone having in terms of selling an album or a sneaker. But... Uh, his his problems are amplified to a place where we just can't see it. They exist. And he went further into it with, hey, I'm not on the board at Adidas or Gap. Right. See, now you're talking Kanye problems. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> now you're talking the stresses that he's dealing with. Right. Because, no, I'm not worried about how my sneaker rollout is going to look. Right. But I know that the result uh, hinges upon y'all putting me where I need to be at, uh, as a member of the board. Right. Like, I understand what I do to the stock and percentages and all that, and I'm a black man still. So, listen, I can't get mad at him because a lot of his rant sounded exactly like my rant on no, the pod. You, ca- you catch the <laughs> It's conscious... just not worded like that. Right. You catch, and I don't like to use that, the old Kanye phrase anymore, but you catch the more sound Kanye in these rants. Like, you'll catch a sentence or two that makes a shit ton of sense. I think we're just coming to the point that the more Kanye talks, he's not great at articulating himself when he's just at all. speaking. Yeah. At all. I think it, he goes over at it in all. his mind. It sounds good in his brain. and But when he vocalizes himself and he puts himself in front of a camera and audience, it just doesn't. Well, with but, all that's, that, but that's well, why with all it's that dangerous, tr- too. Yeah. I can't th- shoot him that much bail because when you say things like slavery is a choice, maybe Kanye did not mean that at TMZ. Mm-hmm. But you still said it. But you said it, And right. you still have this much influence on the world. Mm-hmm. So when you say uh, Harriet Tubman didn't free the slaves, uh, she just made them work for other white people, you may think you said something else, but let's focus on what you said. <laughs> yeah, and... And that's and, why this is dangerous. And even that... And that can degree. be true. You can, you can also be a detriment to the movement yeah. in some of the things you're doing. Like, it's just a lot of... Th- a lot of things can be true when it comes to him. Listen, the point that... because. You have to try to figure out what he's saying amidst all the just gibberish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the main point is, hey, we're not free. We're Mm free-ish. And you can find a million ways to say that without destroying some of our icons, some of our black heroes. Mm -hmm. Like that just was uncalled for, was unnecessary, and it just makes us view you a certain way and your and your words a certain way. But the thing about that is... The abortion stuff, a lot of the, Mm -hmm. the main bulletin points... Yeah, it just seemed weren't articulated right, weren't well thought out, offensive and hurtful to some people. And why are you saying these things? The thing about the Harriet Tubman thing, right? Correct. She did take the slaves and 
they worked for other white people. But Kanye, they were still free at that moment. They were then being paid. They were then free workers. They were no longer slaves. Yes, there was no black owned businesses. Who else were they supposed to work for? Like, that's just my thing when he says things like that. It's like, but what are you saying? They were still free people at that point. They had the freedom to now go and work for someone that was paying them for their services. So it's like you're making these statements, but it's like, well, are you really thinking about what you're saying, though? So yes, they were not, there were no black owned businesses. Who were these people going to work for? So, nope. yes, they did go on to work for other white people, but they had, they were free. They weren't beaten. They weren't charged to labor and then weren't being compensated. These, they were being, this was their job now. And that's and, just my thing with him. It's like, you know, you, you say things, but it's like, you got to really, you might be trying to say something correct and might be trying to make a good point, but you just say something and then you don't really sound like you know what the fuck you're talking about. Though. And I know you're a genius. You have a, you have a brain. You're a smart dude. So it's just, I don't know if it's like, this. It's a, is it a performance? Is it just for, you know, shock value? Because he doesn't need that. And that's why I'm so confused by his antics. Like, you don't need to be doing this. This is the same guy who wants to be in the, in the same conversation as plenty of white people that he reminds us of monthly, it feels like. Mm. So it's like, it's just tough to understand which way Kanye is coming with it. And here's the caveat to all of it. He's the wealthiest entertainer out there. Mm. Yeah. So when you're making $170 million, it's tough for anybody to say anything to you. What we mm. got from Chance on that call last week is exactly what I expected to get from Chance, friend of a nigga who makes $170 million a year. Mm. On, the, on that, that I reported. And someone that's really <laughs> influential on his entire life and has helped him, and don't just say that. Well, I don't think that, Chance loves him because Kanye makes a lot of money. No, that applies to Chance. But my yeah. broader point is whoever is around him, you are around someone who makes $170 million a year. None of us know what that feels if like. Not more now. None of us know what that room is like. Mm. None of us know. We just don't know. I'm not shooting him bail, but I get how he just comes off all fucked up. And I love him and I pray for him. I love him and I pray for him. Enough of me coming in here getting frustrated by... Uh, some of the character flaws of some, somebody who I deem to be really important to our movement, our culture, and just yeah. us as a people. Yeah. Uh, and that's where I stand. That's where I stand with you. I think he said a lot of stupid shit. I called a few people I know to reach out to him. And listen, some of them said to me, hey, he's fine. <laughs> yeah. No, a few he people said that to me as well. He is absolutely fine. I just spoke to him. He's mm -hmm. great. He sounds normal. Yeah. Like, yeah. so what do I say? to that yeah. if y'all have it under control with the wealthiest entertainer out there then maybe this is business because listen i know that too right you can ex exploit some shit yeah and that's your right if y'all have it under control cool dave well, Chappelle flew to see him awesome kanye said hey nigga tell a joke which is something you should probably never ask a comedian on the spot. Come on, tell us a joke. Be funny. <laughs> Fam, I came out here to save your life because you, you look nuts on the internet. Yeah. I ain't here to be funny. Right. I got a black jean vest on in the <laughs> desert. You would definitely rock that. <laughs> now, another, another false that's the narrative that's the being with painted. The vest. Another false narrative being painted about Joe. Listen, I threw the Beijing in the vest alone. Joe Button's on the microphone. Oh, God. Okay, <laughs> whatever that may mean, but sure, have at it. MC Light. Uh, I get it. Self destruction. I mm -hmm. think it's cool. The guns and the crack and the knives. Got it. I All don't right. think those are the exact lyrics. You, you weren't born. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can listen to music. So, and, and, and the fact would still remain that you, you weren't were born. born. It's yeah. called recorded. Two things can be correct. Yes, yeah. you heard it. Yes, you weren't born. It's called recorded. Uh, what else? What else we got for Kanye? Anything? Well, Anything? Uh, I know I mean, it was a lot to unpack. The, the tweets last night were a little alarming, uh, to say the least. Oh yeah, that's my other hot take caveat. I think the man's going through it at home. You think? I mean, clearly. I mean, clearly. Not clearly because we don't know there, if it's performance true. art. We don't know if he's selling things. Comedy we don't know. style. We, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Yeah. No. I know. I get but, it. But. Uh, I think he's going through some shit at home. I think he's going through a lot. I feel for him, man. You know how you know how funny it is that he it's said. It's funny feeling for somebody who's just that. Yeah, but it's just. Great, but, but I do. Him saying everybody knows the movie Get Out is about me. <laughs> Bro, I laughed at that shit all night long. Him, you, him calling Chris's 
man, calm, <laughs> calm yeah, yeah, was yeah. the funniest thing. That let me know he's all right. Like, he's still trying to be funny. He getting his shit off. It's like, all right, he ain't crazy. You know what he doing? No, he's, he's, he's crazy. He, yeah, just he's little, not crazy. There's something going on up there. He's just, talk, he's just talking different. about the mother of your children like that with your children in name in the sentence on Twitter. That doesn't say crazy. That just says no, he doesn't. No, no, no. I'm, I'm going to the point that something is going on home. at home. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Even though this is the family that has monetized going through things at home and maybe have made up some things yeah. in the past. I still, I don't know, man. Well. I think, and this is my, you can hit the, and your safe take. I think all of these things are true. Okay. Yeah. I think every not, take that everyone has is true. I'm not mad at yeah. that. I think Kanye needs help. I think what he's saying is dangerous. I think mm-hmm. he's a genius. Yep. I think he's going through it I think home. he's trying to <laughs> yeah. sell things. I think he's trying to <laughs> yeah. sell like, things. I think all of it is true. Yeah. I just hope he'll pull back on some of the more dangerous takes that can be harmful in the long run. That's all. Yeah. And articulate what I think he really means. And hopefully put out an amazing album or whatever it's going to be. EP, whatever. I, I mean, I'm, I don't go into Kanye projects. No. When I'm is that? To. When is that supposed to drop? I thought Friday. You said Friday. Yeah. This Friday, the 24th. And we all know Kanye yes. states to album release dates. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, he put the track list <laughs> up, and it was all like rough version yeah. number three. And <laughs> yeah. So. And I want to. I want to walk back my take on that ego death song. I heard it in a different setting. I told you that shit was good. I bopped. <laughs> <laughs> It caught you a little bit? No, no, no. It did. Caught the pocket? Murdered my ego when you walked away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That shit is so, hard. So I said, a lot of this music, you just got to be in the right place to really receive it the right way. I know, man. I got to leave home. <laughs> got to leave home sometimes. Got- you was in the streets? 